Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the Batman film, which is coming out in 2021. Today we've got a lot of different things to talk about in regards to the film and some other news as well. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DCEU videos later this year. Okay, so the first thing we're going to be talking about is what's happening in regards to filming. Then we'll talk about the new release date for the Batman and some of the other DC films, and then we got a few other things to go over as well. So thank you for the support on my Batman video a couple of weeks ago. It did really well, and I want to make more of these because I'm really looking forward to this film. And anyway, so going to the dailybeast.com, so they had an interview with Matt Reeves, who is directing the Batman, and this one quote I wanted to mention was, it says, it was going great, and this is obviously in regards to the Batman shoot, which got shut down early in March, I believe. So they've been off for, you know, nearly a month or so as of right now. So it was going great. We shot about a quarter of the movie so far. We have three quarters to go, and when the time is right and it's safe to do so, we'll return to it. So that's what Matt Reeves said. And from what I've been told by Daniel, who is my good friend, you guys can go check him out. He is very, very big on Twitter. So he gets lots of scoops and he has said that Batman is due to return to film in two months if all goes well. So that's as of right now and that's if everything goes smoothly and things don't get worse wherever they were filming because they're filming in lots of different locations. They were filming in London. I was able to visit the set when they were near Somerset House. I don't remember exactly when it was but it was sometime towards the end of last year or the beginning of this year. They were filming in Glasgow and I believe they have various other locations as well. So I don't know where they're going to return to, but it's going to be one of those big locations. And also just before we move on again from this article. So this is what Matt Reeves has said about his version of the Batman as it's titled. So I pitched them what I would do and I said, look, I appreciate that you want me to do a Batman movie, but I don't want to just do a Batman movie. I want to do a Batman movie that has a chance to be something different and humanist and can use the metaphors of the genre. So obviously from this and what we've heard and everything to do with the film, basically this is going to be very different. It's probably going to be more in line with Joker, more so than anything in the DCEU. And also the fact that it is a standalone film, it's not part of the DCEU, meaning it's going to be different, like say the Joker. But anyway, so let's move on to the big topic of today's video. So the Batman was due to release on June 25th, 2021. But as of a couple of days ago, the release date was changed and the new release date for The Batman, directed by Matt Reeves, starring Robert Pattinson, is going to be October 1st, 2021. That's a couple of months forward, about four to be exact. And I think it's a very good release date because this is actually supposed to be a take on The Long Halloween, which is a Batman run in the comics. And obviously, I think the mood and the feel of the film is going to be pretty similar to that comic and obviously October is Halloween and I guess it just makes a lot of sense that it would be coming out then. Also if you look at something like the Joker and you see the Batman with Robert Pattinson in it directed by Matt Reeves like it's in a pretty good release date. This is a similar release date to Joker's so I guess it shows some sort of confidence maybe this is a good sign that we may see at like some film festivals and stuff it depends. I think it could potentially be in the same vein as Joker, obviously it's going to be very different, but that's because you see the casting, it's some very inspired casting from, you know, some lesser known actors who normally do indie films and now are taking the leap to do something like the Batman, which is obviously going to be big, but it's not as big as, say, like a normal DCEU film, it's going to be you know, a big event obviously for all of us because we can't wait, it's a Batman film, like we love Batman films, but it's going to be in a different vein than normal. It's going to be more like The Dark Knight or Joker. And obviously the release date change is to accommodate some of the stuff that is supposed to come out before, which has been heavily delayed. Lots of films being delayed about a year or so, so I guess this is not too bad for the Batman because it's only a couple of months. So the reason for this move is definitely to accommodate those other films, but also I guess it shows some confidence, like I said, with the October release date, because that's, you know, very much so a prime date if you want to sort of head towards the Oscars or anything like that, or even have any consideration at all. And this is 
also probably due to the production being put on pause and therefore obviously there's going to be delays in you know the months that they can't film and then they have to return then they have to film again which is obviously going to delay the editing process by months so it's probably going to be delayed i don't know when they were eyeing to actually finish filming but considering that they've at least shot for like a little while like at least a month or so maybe like nearing two months and they said that they've only done a quarter of the film out of the three quarters left it's going to be a little while so i could see why this might be comforting to the people behind the batman especially matt reeves if they think that production is going to continue for too long and then maybe they won't make that june 25th release date that was supposed to actually happen so heading into next year but i think you know that's adequate time to get the june release date i think there's no problem however i think obviously the october release date is more ideal for them and i think it gives them more time so you know there's no problem about that and with productions being put on pause all over the world due to what's happening in the world it makes sense that some of these films have been reshuffled and scheduled for different points of the year say lots of them have been in the summer they've been moved to autumn or like the fall as they say in america and along with this we've had lots of other release date changes from dc and warner brothers so the flash film has moved forward a month and this is going to be opening in june the 2nd 2022 so this is obviously a change because all these films have been moved back but the flash has actually been moved a month forward i guess to accommodate whatever they're going to be putting in the month of july in 2022 obviously that's a long way away they've not started filming you know they got andy machete on recently obviously you had that stuff with ezra miller so i guess they're still confident even though they had the sort of protesting of fans against ezra miller and you know what happened with him recently the only reason would be to reshuffle this and move it forward would be to accommodate a july release date for some other films whilst shazam 2 which is the sequel to shazam which was amazing directed by david f sandberg this film is going to be coming and hitting the screen seven months later than anticipated so this is a long delay seven months is a lot the batman's delayed by four months this is seven so instead of April the 1st, 2022, it's going to be November the 4th, 2022. I mean, it isn't the worst thing in the world, considering that November's a pretty good month to release your film. However, I'm really excited for Shazam and I'm kind of a little bit disappointed that it's going to be delayed like by seven more months because I really do want to see this probably over, say, quite a few of these DC films. But anyway, so that's nothing too crazy. But they are keeping the same release date for Christopher Nolan's Tenet, which is coming out July 17th. So that hasn't actually changed, but it's probably going to change sometime in the near future. Considering this would probably be like the first film to open after all the cinemas have been shut down. So I don't know if they're going to stick with that and maybe release it like later in autumn or something like that this year. But also Warner Brothers is maintaining the Wonder Woman release date for August 14th. I think that could totally happen i don't really see that moving but there is a high chance as well though okay so the final thing we're going to be talking about and this isn't really to do with the batman film but it's to do with a past batman film so darren aronofsky who made mother and requiem for a dream he's an amazing director he was supposed to actually make a batman film a while ago back in the 90s and he was going to cast Joaquin Phoenix as Batman and this newspaper article popped up the other day saying that this was going to happen obviously back in the 90s and I just wanted to mention it because it's really interesting and I think you know Joaquin would have made a pretty good Batman back in the 90s and it's always interesting to see you know them playing different roles these actors who were supposed to be cast in these films in the past and then they end up playing someone else like Joaquin obviously one the oscar and played joker last year so he obviously played the opposite of what he was supposed to play in that film but i think it's interesting to think about you know what it could have been like with joaquin as batman but anyway guys thank you guys so much for watching this video if you did enjoy it please be sure to leave a like and a comment subscribe and turn on notifications if you're new and i'll catch you guys later goodbye
icy road.